Hi, welcome to our WOW DIY series. Today we will learn how to make a model of an end effector or robotic hand. To do this, you will need two paper or styrofoam cups, a pair of scissors, some tape, either scotch or masking tape will work, a pencil or marker. I will use a marker so that you can see what I'm doing better. We also need some string or yarn. We need enough to be able to cut three pieces, each about six inches long. Yesterday's science fiction is today's reality. As technology advances, robots are often seen doing jobs that would otherwise endanger human lives. Robots are regularly used in manufacturing. They also allow us to explore extreme environments like the ocean floor or even outer space. One important part of the robot is the tool, gripper, or hand at the end of the arm that does the work. This is called the end effector. End effectors come in many different shapes and sizes. The exact nature depends on the application of the robot. Let's start building ours. Begin by tracing a circle around the outside of the bottom of one of the cups using the marker. Next, stack the two cups and cut through both cups using the scissors following the traced line. You may need an adult to help you with this part just for safety reasons. Cut your string into three six inch pieces. Tape one end of each of the three strings to the inside of the inner cup. Make sure they are equally spaced. Then lightly tape the other ends of the strings to the outside of the outer cup, again, equally spaced. Rotate your outer cup until the strings are lined across the top of the cups. Gently pull on the outside ends of the strings so that the intersection becomes taut. Congratulations, you've created your own end effector. You can open and close your robotic hand by twisting the cups like this. The type of end effector we built today is modeled off the one used in the CanadArm project. The CanadArm project was a joint venture between the governments of the United States and Canada to supply the NASA Space Shuttle program with a robotic arm for the deployment and retrieval of space hardware from the payload bay of the orbiter. Have fun exploring the different types of things your end effector can lift. Talk to an adult and see if you can think of other materials you might use to improve your prototype and make it capable of lifting heavier loads. Hopefully you enjoyed this activity. Remember to clean up all your materials when you are finished. To learn more about the science and technology behind this activity, search terms like end effector, robotics, and automation. You can visit us at wpafbstem.com to find more fun DIY activities. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.